think you're all insane. But I appreciate the coverage. Um, first and foremost, thank you to the fans. And I don't really want to thank you guys, but um, I know it's freezing outside. Thanks for coming. And uh, that was, uh, I was very, very nervous about the game uh, because of the weather. Um, I didn't know what to think. You know, these home games are hard. I mean, they're an advantage, and you need to have that advantage to win in this league. Um, you know, so I, I was expecting about 3,000, um, you know, and it's listed at over 9,000, 9, 9, 9,500. No place in the country. No place. Our fans get a lot of crap for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, no place in the country would show up with that amount of fans in this weather. It's probably because no place in the country has this weather, so maybe that has something to do with it as well. But... Thank you to our fans. Uh, truly, truly appreciate it. Um, we, we, we played really well offensively. Um, I thought we played much better defense in the second half. Uh, besides Frazier, I thought we did a good job on Io. We did a good job on their big kid. Uh, offensively, we scrapped the playbook and um, just went kind of five-out motion um, to get some more movement. I didn't like what I did the first time we played him, clearly. Um, so I thought our guys adjusted well to that. Made big plays. Isaiah Washington was terrific off the bench. Uh, showed you uh, what he can bring. So, uh, great win. Anytime you can win in this league, it's a great win. Uh, I got a lot of respect for Illinois and what they're doing. Um, and uh, with that, I'll open for questions. You know how the, tough, the schedule's going to get moving forward. So, to get two wins in a row, like, play well offensively and get confidence going. Yeah, I mean, our schedule moving forward. I, I think that Ryan Livingston told me that uh, eight of the next ten are quad one potential wins. Um, you know, so you take it one game at a time. Um, I know Purdue's playing well. I haven't watched a lot of them. Um, I'll just watch this game um, and then take tomorrow off and then, you know, move on. So uh, it's it's great when you got really good opportunities in front of you. That's what it's all about. Brother, you talked about kind of liking your three-point shooting, but you don't do a lot of it. Some timely ones there separate. What kind of looks did you feel like you were getting there? I thought we got some good looks. Dupree hit a big one. Gabe hit some really big ones. Um, we were setting some good flares on the backside, and guys were finding them. Uh, so I want them to shoot them when they're open. You know, I mean, it's it's that that's got to be that's a too big of a part of a game to not shoot threes. You have to shoot threes, um, but uh, you know they got to be good shots. And I thought for the most part, most of them were really good shots. Everyone says they like to have a short memory, but how much did that first game against Illinois weigh on you guys going into this one? Probably not as much as you'd think. Uh, I think kids are a little bit different these days. They move on pretty quickly. Um, it weighed on me pretty good. Um, but I'm not surprised that Illinois, you know, obviously we didn't play great, but that's a good team. I mean, they went and beat Maryland, who's a very good team. Nobody wants to play them, especially in their building. It's hard to win on the road. So we didn't respond during that game well, but we responded after really well. Uh, we gritted out versus Penn State. We almost had Michigan. Uh, played well versus Iowa. Played well tonight. So um, we talked a lot about responding, and I thought we sp responded well. When Isaiah is locked in, how does that enhance what you can do offensively? Well, he creates his own shot. You know, I, I don't know if, if anyone else on our team can do that as well as he can. When he's on balance, he's a good shooter. Um, when he takes good shots, he's a good shooter. Uh, you know, and he's playing, starting to play the right way. He's only a sophomore. You know, for because of his social media status, he gets that burden of higher expectations than probably needs to be. Um, he's a good player, and he's going to get better if he can, continues to learn and grow. Was that part of the game plan to get Isaiah involved so much, just knowing his play style and the way Illinois makes you play? Probably not, but I'm happy that he did it. I mean, I, you know, the biggest thing is when he comes off the bench, he can provide value offensively. He really can. Um, and we were getting good movement. And then he was kind of breaking guys down and getting good shots. So that's what he does well. The team had two big offensive runs in the second half. Um, what were the keys to kind of getting those going and kind of extending the lead? I thought we got out on the break. You know, in order to get on the break, you have to defend and you have to rebound. And then I thought we were patient offensively. Um, we weren't in a rush besides a couple of shots uh, late. But for the most part, we, we, we calmed down, we moved the ball, and we got good looks late in the clock. Yeah, he made a really tough shot there. Um, you know, he, he's one of the better players in the league. And um, he's shown up when we need him to show up, and, uh, and he'll continue to do that. We'll continue to rely on him. He's a talented player.
it looked like he was re- obviously got a couple rebounds on a defensive end. For him to just play all around like that, not necessarily focus on scoring, how much is that for this team? He's got to rebound the ball more. I would say if uh, there's one thing he's got to do a little bit better at, um, you know, but that that could be leaking out a little bit, trying to get up because we're pretty good when we get out on the break, and he's really good at it. Um, but yeah, all of our guards guards, not just Amir, uh, but that's something he can really progress on. Three point shooting at defense too. I mean, um, obviously Gabe does a lot of that, but you know, Dupree and, and Amir, they seem to all like uh, obviously. Be a I told I, I told Dupree and Amir. Before the Iowa game, I said, you have to shoot the three. You guys are acting like you can't shoot. You can shoot. You're just ducking your head and you're barreling over guys all the time. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not that good of an offensive mind. If you're not going to shoot a wide-open shot um, and we just throw it inside and they're converging and we're not making people pay, we're not going to be able to score. Um, and I thought they both hit very timely threes tonight. They could shoot. No, I didn't change anything. I thought it was just good, good movement, good motion, good screening, um, and uh, you know he got open and knocked it down. Look great. Yeah, made some really timely rebounds in the second half. Made some big free throws. Um, so I think he bounced back pretty well. I, that was more of a timing issue. Like he got hurt. I think it was two days before. And uh, if we had had a week to prepare, maybe he would have been back. Uh, so fortunate to get that Iowa win. And uh, he battled today because Illinois is a very, very physical team. You mentioned it on the radio yesterday um, about the 10 point march of victory being part of the net. Do you have to change the way you coach down the stretch? Yeah, I, I, I normally hold the ball and take the turnover um, in that situation. I've just always done that. I'm never trying to show up another coach, or I, I don't like to do that when the game is in hand. But if they're going to tell me that a win by more than 10 points means more than, and if we can get it, I'm going to get it. Um, it's hard to win, you know, games in this league by double digits. I don't think, I think the net rankings are not as big of a deal as we all think it is when it comes to committees. But I've, I said from day one, we're sitting at 16 and five. I'm not saying we're the best team in the country, but with the resume that we have right now, and we could lose and it could change right now today. We should not be ranked 52nd in any ranking. I'm not saying a month from now, but it makes no sense to me. So if I'm being told that wins by more than 10 matter and I can do it, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. And I, I'm not ever trying to show anybody up, but I think it changes for everybody. Um, unloading your bench early. Um, I think a lot of coaches, I was talking to Fran about that before the game versus Iowa. Um, you know, you, you got to try to, be as efficient as you possibly can on every single possession if that's what they're going to judge you on. I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, I think we're all playing a guessing game on it a little bit, but that is one factor um, that I'm certainly going to look at. Last one, Coach. I feel like the team's starting to get into a little bit of a groove, becoming a little bit more cohesive. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got you got to realize Eric missed 11 games. Dupree was going through hell. Um you know, I'm sure he still is emotionally what, what, what he's dealing with, but there's, there's not as much outside stuff that we're having to deal with. And, you know, teams got to get through that. That happens with a lot of teams, injuries, things that happen. But I do feel like everybody's starting to understand their role and they're starting to, um, you know, just lock in and get better. We're improving, which is good to see. Thank you. Be safe.